what you're watching right now on the left is the EVR60 video camera on the right is Global Fusion is the recent video I did with the stabilization feature of these two camera and as you see GoPro did a way better job than E but if you take out the second footage right now they are both E but I do some special magic stabilization magic with the Mexican VR brand new beta and achieve really smooth result it's actually as good as the GoPro Fusion if you take a look at this again on the right is Fusion, on the left is the Mystical VR Stabilized E footage. Take a look at the horizon and take a look at me. Uh, the footage is actually more stable than the GoPro Fusion footage. So how can I do that? Let's take a deep look. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. So some exciting news I want to share with you guys is because Mystica just released this brand new beta version 3 feature on the stabilization. Have this new feature, the really stabilized shaky footage and allow you to stabilize any footage, any footage, mono, stereo shot by any camera directly using the software with click of a button. And it's super convenient. You can even stabilize the already very stabilized Fusion footage uh, if you think that the Fusion stabilization is not enough. So that is a crazy great feature new that I want to share with you guys. As you can tell from earlier, the brand new Yee stabilization is pretty good, but it's not as good as the Fusion. And uh, if you don't have a Fusion camera, or you don't want to spend seven hundred dollars to buy a Fusion if you already have an E. So don't bet, don't get frustrated because you can also achieve the GoPro Fusion gimbalized stabilization, stable feature, stable footage feature uh, with this method I gonna show you right now. Take a look at the footage. So the first one in the sixty view, this is the one without the mystical VR stabilization is really wobbly. Pay attention to the size. It's very, very wobbly. See that? And then one with the mystical VR stabilized. Look at that. The horizon line is hold really, really well on the sides. Very stable. Look at that. Very stable. And take a look at the fusion. Also, the horizon line is keeping pretty good. The side is very stable as well. Uh, me moving a lot though. So. But the result between the Fusion and the e stabilized with the Mystica VR is very, very close. Uh, I, in, in some extent, I think the Mystica VR version is even better because, uh, because in the center area, it's also pretty stable. Not like the Fusion, uh, it's pretty stable in the horizon, but me, it's just wobbling left and right. So if you look down like that, you kind of get you a headache. So now I will show you exactly how to do that. So go ahead and open Mythica. So here, uh, that's what I did already. And that is the part of which I stabilized. Uh, but let's just start all over again so you can see what I did here. So I go ahead and remove all the camera. And then when you jump in the E footage, it will look really weird. But instead of picking the template because this is already stitched by the E software, you go ahead in the input camera right here. In the mapping, you pick latitude and longitude. Boom, then you have a stretch out footage of the E. But as you can tell, uh, for a long recording like this one, the E is not going to hold the horizon with the stabilization. So the horizon is all messed up. Look at that right here. So step one, we actually need to level the E horizon like the fusion horizon straight line. Uh, I, not to save you time, I want to pick up some frame. Then we're going to work on it. So in here, I just type in the frame number. And only work on the frame I need. And you should always do that because you don't want to stitch more frame that you don't need to. So always do your pre-production, pick out the frame uh, before stitching. So go ahead. I pick the in point and out point. And that is the first I concern. And I go ahead and choose the middle frame so I can find some straight telephone pole. And then I turn on the grid system. And I will go ahead and hit all key and try to first straight in the horizon. Again, Mystica straight horizon tool is very, very powerful. Um, it's very easy to just help you to straight everything up to make sure the horizon line is perfectly straight. So as you see, the horizon line is really straight right here. So usually I'll put in the middle frame to make sure the horizon line is straight. And then after that, you can turn this off. You don't need that anymore. Uh, so go ahead and do stabilization. So in the brand new beta, there's something called prioritize front. 
So this is a brand new feature. So basically, Mr. Cup will only look at the horizon line, which you look at the front session and try to using those pixels to stabilize your footage. Uh, before the this beta release, uh, Mr. Cup actually picked the entire frame stabilized, so you can actually turn this off using the old feature to just stabilize uh, based on every footage on the frame. But the end result usually is not that good because the, your Horizon 9 is not usually is not around the frame, it's especially if you're handheld the camera or your camera on some kind of rig or like on a drone. And you don't need to like using the drone or using the, the camera guy, the, the one facing the back of the lens, as the stabilization as the stabilization subject because he is moving, he is not some viewer gonna view it, gonna view it in the horizon line. So uh, this brand new feature allow you to only focus on whatever you're looking. All right, make sure you check it. Uh, and using that as a stabilization horizon line. So achieve a way better result than the stabilization feature before. At least as that's what I think. And again, I always want to follow overhead, uh, overall heading. So this will keep level in horizon level. So after I pick that, uh, I will just go ahead and hit stabilize to let Mr. Capito do his thing. You can also do that in stereoscopic footage, not just mono. So, I mean, you know that you cannot stabilize stereoscopic footage if in 360 Pro, but you can easily do that now with the Mystica VR beta version and achieve really impressive result. Okay, that's it. We're done. So go ahead and just go ahead and output that. Just hit render, render. Right here, I always pick now the MP3 NVIDIA movie. If you have NVIDIA graphic card, and you're on a PC because that is really fast render. Uh, 420 is usually good enough. And that is just the basic setting. And then you just hit render. Um, so the render is also really fast because it's one of the advantage using this VR is render. Stitching is blazing fast if you have a Nvidia card. And that's it. That's how you stabilize any any footage from any camera you want with Mythical VR and achieve GoPro Fusion like gimbal-like stabilization. So hopefully this tutorial will help you to dig back through all your old footage which is shot maybe with GoPro Fusion before they release the stabilization feature or any like old footage you shot with like camera that doesn't don't, don't even have stabilization feature but you want to like reuse them into your new reel, now you can just go ahead and get Mystica VR and stabilize anything you want in the past and make it smooth like GoPro Fusion. So hopefully you like this tutorial. Again, if you have many, if you have any questions, don't forget to comment below. If you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumb up and I will see you next time.